In this video, we're going to be looking at messaging service, and it allows you to communicate across different servers in your game. So if you think of a big game like Jailbreak, has loads of players across loads of different servers, how can you relay messages between them, or maybe give announcements, you could do a, a server-wide announcement feature, uh, how do you update these servers by sending messages or, or you know data to them so messaging service it allows you to publish um, it, well it has publish async and subscribe async publish async is used to send messages to the servers and subscribe async is used to pick them up so in order to receive a message you have to be subscribed Think of it like a YouTube subscription box where if you're not subscribed to the channel, you won't receive updates or new videos. If you're not subscribed to the topic, and I'll describe what the topic is in a minute, if you're not subscribed, then you're not going to get the, the messages or the information from the other server. So the way this works is um, you can say publish async and you can send a message. Our message is hello there. We've also got noob. Now noob is the topic. With messaging service, you can send a message with a topic, and the topic is what identifies this message and, 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 and who it's being sent to. So you can subscribe to certain messages with by, by, by giving your topic. So if I only wanted to subscribe to um, the messages from the, the topic called noob, then I've subscribed with just noob here. So if I was to then send a message with the topic um, oof, right, then none of these servers are going to get the uh, message because they haven't subscribed to that topic. You can subscribe to multiple topics, so you could have, uh, you could be subscribed to topic and oof, and that would mean that you would receive the messages for oof and noob, but if you send a message with a topic that you haven't subscribed to, then you're not going to receive that message. So, how do we do this? Well, it's quite simple actually. Um, firstly, we need to set up the subscription. We need to subscribe to a topic so that we can receive updates and messages from whichever server is sending the message to that topic. So what happens is a server will publish a message to a topic and then if you're subscribed to the topic in your script then you'll be able to get the update from that topic. So to subscribe you say messaging service and we've also got the messaging service set up here as a variable so we say messaging service or game get service messaging service whatever you choose but once we've got the service we can say colon subscribe async and we now need to give the topic that we want to subscribe to so what messages are we going to receive we, we only want to receive messages that are in the noob category okay so we firstly need to say our topic and as I've said that's the thing that uniquely identifies uh, the messages that are going to be sent we could send uh, some messages to a noob topic or an oof topic you can call the topics whatever you like so we could have a, a topic called um, global announcement right so you could you could have you could use the messaging service for a global announcement and when a message is sent if it's a global announcement if it's got the topic global announcements we will globally announce it in like a GUI or something okay so um, we subscribe to it and now we need to tell the script what we want to do when a message comes through with this topic assigned to it so we, we will do a comma and then we are going to have a function which is going to run when this message comes in so function and then pair of brackets drop a line and then we're going to do end with a closing bracket. Now what this has done is we've created a function that is going to run when the message comes in but we don't have the data of the message so what if we wanted to print out the message we need to get the, the, the message data from somewhere so it's passed to this function automatically by subscribe async so if we just write an argument of message then the message is going to be is going to be passed to that argument and whenever we say message that's what our message is going to be equal to but actually what happens is subscribe async sends the message in a table format so the f we will have two bits of data being sent we'll have the message but we'll also have the um, time which it was sent 
and that's since the the epoch so the number of seconds since january the 1st 1970 and we can use that number of seconds to manipulate it into the time it arrived but right now we're going to be just focusing on, on the message that, that has been sent so actually it's not called message it's called data so um i think it's called data and sent so if you wanted to print out the message we would have to say message dot data okay um and i'll actually just check that as well Let's have a look um, in subscribe async. We have message. Let's have a look cross server messaging. Yeah, so we've got message dot data, which is passed, and also message dot sent. So which is the Unix time in seconds at which the message was sent. So if you wanted to print out the message, we'd have to say message dot data. But if you wanted to print out the um, the time it was sent, we could say message dot sent. So that is how you subscribe to a topic. Whenever a message comes in with this topic assigned to it, we will print out the message. But now we actually want to send a message, right? So we're going to learn how to do that. So it's quite simple as well. All we need to do is um, say messaging service colon publish async. We now need to say the topic that we're going to that w this message will be sent to. So global announcement and also the message so we can just say hello there guys if we um, just add a little wait delay in here so we can actually see it see it happen what's going to happen is the subscribe async connection which is waiting for the message to be sent is created five seconds later we send the message and it gets picked up and it prints out hello there guys and then the number of seconds since January the 1st 1970 and we're not going to be going into that today but you can manipulate that in a way to find out when the message was sent but I'm just going to go over this again so if you're not familiar with events or connections I'm just going to go over that now so what we've done is before we've sent any data as soon as the script has started we have created an event listener an event listener is something that waits for something to happen and is constantly checking so in this case we're constantly checking uh, to see if a message has been sent using subscribe async now what this does is it's gonna wait until a message comes in and when a message does come in with this topic then we are firing this function and this function prints out the message data and the time that it was sent and then five seconds later we are publishing a message to this topic and so because the, the the topic has a new message it's triggered our subscribe async event which is listening out waiting for a message to come in now that the message has come in it's printed out that message data so in this case hello there guys because that was the data we passed to that message and also the time in which it was sent so you might be thinking this is a bit pointless because it's all in the same script and we can just you know we could just print out our own message but this is where it starts to get interesting what if we um what if we had another script we had another script and in one script we would publish the announcement and in another script we would pick it up right so this could be our subscribe script and this could be our publish script now for the purpose of this tutorial I can't open up multiple servers to, to show you this but let's imagine that our publish script is running in in one server so server one and our subscribe script is running in, in another server and we wanted to send the message from server one to server two now look we don't have the publish in our the publish uh, async stuff in our in our subscribe script so if we run this now what should happen is after five seconds it should still print out hello there guys even though it's in a different script and there we go this is because we have published it from a different script and we are picking it up in another script as well so you can think of this as like if we had 10 servers opened and they were all subscribed because we have subscribed to it in our scripts in our server scripts that will run as soon as the the, the uh, game is created um, whenever we publish something to this announcement it will print out the data and just to show you as well if I was to just disable this script and just get rid of it for the publishing stuff and I only had the subscribe async let's go into the game 
and what we can do is we can use the command bar now let's imagine we're in another server again down here in the command bar we could say local um, messaging service equals game colon get service messaging service um, and we can say messaging service publish async and we're going to give it a topic global announcement because that's the topic that we have subscribed to in our scripts and then we can publish a message so if I was to um, publish this we have a oh error it can only be executed by the game server okay that's fine we just go into server mode here and try this again okay cool so we've just published a message from the command line and it's been picked up by our script that has been subscribed to this topic so if I was to do this again with a different topic and the topic was called hey there okay nothing happens well actually I'll show you again you can see nothing happens the um, hey there XD is not printed out and that's because we have sent the message to a new topic we haven't sent it to the global announcements topic and uh, we sent it to the uh, the hey there topic and it's not been printed out because we haven't subscribed to the hey there topic if we were to subscribe to this topic in the command line we could say messaging service colon subscribe async and to the topic hey there and we can just do a function quickly that will print out the message okay and now that we've subscribed to it what we can do is we can just publish to the hey there topic again and it's going to print out the message if I change the message it doesn't matter it will still get printed out so you can see you can subscribe to a topic a certain topic and you can send messages to that topic now obviously you're not going to want to you, you might have certain different topics in your game you might have say for example a global announcement and you might also have something like a rank announcement so you might only want to send messages to people with a certain rank so you wouldn't want that to be a global message so you might want two topics so you can have as many topics as you like and then you can publish messages to those topics so you can send certain messages um, to certain servers so um, most likely you'll have every server subscribe to a topic but that's how messaging service works you can subscribe to a topic and then you can send messages to that topic and you can do whatever you like with those messages this is very basic still you could um, for example make a GUI which shows the messages you know you could have a um, a topic which could be alert and when you send a message to that alert topic then your game could set off some alarms or something if you have like a I don't know a role play game or you know um, something like that so lots of use cases for messaging service this was just a very very um, basic tutorial on it and I'm also going to say when you are dealing with messaging service it is recommended to uh, wrap your subscribe async and publish async lines in a p call just in case something goes wrong um, or an error occurs it's not going to affect your entire script so the error gets contained so we for our um, event here we create an event connection so we could say local um, success connection equals p call function and then drop a line and we'll move this end with the closing bracket over here so that our messaging service um, event is surrounded by this p call um, we'll also just before the connection um, variable I'll explain what that does in a minute we'll add an error message so in case we get an error message um, we'll be able to print it out and see what what goes wrong so the success basically says whether whether um, everything went well and no errors occurred so if it's true everything went well if it's false then there was an error and so we can print out the error message which is also um, set as this error in this error message variable that's where the error message would be and then the connection is is the connection to this this event the subscribe this p call um, messaging service subscribe async event so when we need when we don't need to um, be subscribed to this anymore if we if we wanted to stop being subscribed we could disconnect the connection so we could say connection colon disconnect now what that would do is it would basically uh, if we if, if a message came in it wouldn't get printed out anymore because the we've we've 
we've ditched the connection we've stopped being subscribed to this this event so if you ever wanted to stop being subscribed at one point you could say connection colon disconnect um, so we've done that we've wrapped our subscribe base link in a p call what we now need to do if you are publishing you do the same thing so you say cool success error message um, but this time we don't need the connection because we are publishing so we are not listening we are publishing equals p call function and then in here we can just say messaging service colon publish async with our uh, token and our message so just add a wait in there again and um, everything should work now one final thing is that you will probably get an error when you try this out you'll probably get an error called messaging router service disconnected uh, in fact I can guarantee you'll get that error unless you publish your game you have to publish your game as a place okay you have to go to publish to Roblox here or publish to Roblox as you have to make sure you have published it as a place so go here and then publish your game and uh, then it will work for you because messaging service only works in running uh, in published games so there we go that was a quick tutorial on messaging service hope you found it useful if you did please like the video share it with anybody you know that think would benefit from learning about this very very cool um, and very powerful as well messaging service uh, I might make some more videos on it in the future as well about how to make more practical things with it such as a global announcement system that actually works with a GUI but for now that's the end of this video thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one